All right, friends, it is question time. We got a question coming in today from a female that asks, how can a female position herself in a pure and healthy way to be pursued by men? Uh, what are the conscious, subconscious signals men are looking for to determine whether or not a woman is available or interested? Good question. Okay, well, um, how can a female position herself to be pursued by men and what are subconscious or conscious uh, signals men are looking for from women? Uh, I just wrote down a few things that I experience when I am pursuing someone. But first of all, uh, I think there's a bit of understanding of men and women that need we need a foundation before we get into these things. Uh, traditionally, uh, men like to pursue and women like to be attracted to. Um, and that may sound traditional to some people, but I actually don't think it's a traditional, it's not traditional roles. It's actually deeper than that. It's connected to how a woman works and how a man works. And let me explain. Uh, men are seeking to ask the question about themselves. Am I enough in life? Am I strong enough? Am I wise enough? Am I funny enough? Am I bold enough? Am I courageous enough? They're asking these questions just be, to be, become a confident man. And women are asking, often ask the question, am I desirable enough? Am I beautiful enough? Am I um, attractive enough? Am I, and we're, we're, we're both asking these questions to become whole human beings where we're not looking for that we've already found that we already found how to be and feel enough and found how to be beautiful enough and um and people who don't men who don't learn how to pursue oftentimes are haven't learned that they're usually afraid of pursuing because they're afraid of rejection because they can't handle that because that means they're not enough they don't want to face that feeling but a person who's found, a man who's found something that's enough inside himself can go and get rejected and go, oh, that doesn't reflect who I am. I'm still enough because I have something I've found inside. And same with a woman who goes out there and maybe get, doesn't get as attracted to as she wants. Uh, she doesn't attract as much as she wants. Uh, instead of going, oh, I'm not attractive enough, goes, no, I'm attractive, I'm beautiful because I got that from inside. And um, so I think the ability to pursue and the ability to... Uh, to allure with your beauty as a woman is, is a healthy thing. It's not just this traditional way of doing things. It's deeply connected to who we are as men and women, and it's, it's a good thing. Um, so with that being said, uh, okay, a few things I look for. When I'm going out and I'm feeling out, if I go out to a coffee shop or something, and I'm feeling out, uh, if a woman's interested, Number one, um, I will see an, some type of effect on the person. I will see effect. The women who I don't see effect with, I get that signal pretty clearly. Uh, but some of the effects you might see are, um, you catch them looking, I'll catch them looking at me for just maybe a little bit longer than a normal look, or um, they'll give a bit of a smile. There'll be something different than just normal interaction or normal public interaction. Um, and if I were to start up a conversation, they will usually be interested in conversation or they will keep conversation going. I've noticed uh, many times I'll maybe run out of things to say or I, I, I'm processing what I want, where I wanna take the conversation next and they'll come in with another question or keep the conversation going versus women who don't. <laughs> it's kind of, it, you feel it. It's, it's either really nice because it, it's telling you they're interested or they want this to keep going or it's, it can be deflating because they're trying to tell you they don't want this to keep going. Um, but either way, it's, it's information that we're getting as men that you are giving us uh, subtly. Um, and we're looking, we're looking subconsciously or consciously as men, we're looking for a difference where we're, there's a little bit of a difference between um, the normal interaction and with you, that there's a slight romantic intrigue. Uh, and even if a woman is shy and maybe a little nervous 
uh, <laughs> they'll be bubbly with their friends and all of a sudden you come over and talk to them and they'll be like really serious. But you could still tell uh, enough that they're interested or they keep conversation going. They, they keep giving you openness. Um, and even that's like, seems like it's in the wrong directions, but it's still effect and you see that there's a difference. Um, and that can even be endearing, and, but you still have some information that, oh, okay, maybe this is uh, them being into me and they're just a little nervous. But also on a side note, with that type of reaction, it can be, it can backfire too, where if a man doesn't pick up on that, he could take it as, oh, she's shutting down, she's not as interested. But uh, we're looking for effect, that you're able to show a little bit of heightened interest, a little bit of heightened uh, interaction, a little bit of heightened enjoyment of the person if you're attracted to them. So it's having that ability to show that, which, which is risky. It's not, it's, it, it takes courage to show interest in somebody. Um, okay, now let's look at it from the other point. A married woman, which she represents someone who's not interested and hopefully they should not be interested, but this is my typical interaction with married women. Uh, <clears throat> usually they keep the conversation short. They're not showing exaggerated uh, amounts of interest um, as they would their girlfriend next to them or some other guy. It's, it's like it's neutral across the, across the board. Uh, there's, no, there's not much different. You're not seeing an effect you have on them in conversation. Um, there's no signs of extra interest. They usually are just calm in themselves. Uh, they don't usually smile at you if you're looking at them. They'll just be like, there's no effect you have on them. Uh, they don't give you little looks. Um, if they do, it's because they're giving everybody looks and just looking around. It's, it's not specific to you. Uh, there's a minimal effect that you have on them. That's traditionally, tra yeah, that's usually what I experience with married women. So if you don't want to attract a man, do those things and don't have any difference and you should be fine. <laughs> um, which brings me to another point. Uh, we're also looking as human beings, men and women are both looking if there can be an interaction with somebody who wants to begin or is inclined to start setting you apart. I um, mean, you're not just one of many because Romance is birthed in exclusivity. I don't know anybody who gets married and just thinks, oh, um, I can't wait until my husband or my wife uh, is interested in another person or has feelings like they have for me for another person. Those feelings are exclusive to you. And that's how romance is, is created um, within that ability to create exclusivity. So men, or women, but we're, we're just answering this question from the perspective of what a female can do to position herself, but this is applies to men as well. Um, when I see a woman who interacts a lot with all the guys and just is very comfortable showing interest and very, you know, she knows she's cute, she can be cute and she goes and she lets every guy have a little taste of that. That's a turn off for me. That's, some people like that, but in the end, we're, if we're looking for an exclusive committed marriage, that's not, and you know, there's nothing wrong with a woman playing the room. Like sometimes really beautiful people, I don't envy them. They have so much attention um, all the time and they don't choose that. It's just what their looks, their, gen, their genes gave them. It's the genetic lottery basically. And, um, so they're going to have more attention and to handle that is a lot more work. It just is. And so I don't envy that cause I, I don't, wouldn't want to do all that work. Um, but there's nothing wrong with playing a room and seeing, feeling out, you know, okay, there, there's some cute guys over here. There's some cute guys over there and you go and you test out which ones you're kind of interested in, and then you can kind of land on something. And there has to be the ability to find a way to make the other person be a little bit set apart from the rest. Um, so if, if there's too much flirtation going on, I think 
for a man who's looking for an exclusive relationship with you, it's not as attractive. Um, so to monitor and keep, keep in mind, I want to find somebody I can, that's worth setting apart. That's worth starting slowly in little bits, starting to exclude all the rest of the guys for this person. Um, <clears throat> now, on the other hand, some, you know, some men are really comfortable with being flirtatious and, and they're great at that. And that can be a great thing and can be a bad thing. Um, but sometimes women don't set men apart because they're utterly afraid. Uh, they, they are too afraid to show any difference in interaction, in effect, in uh, uh, what they feel. So they make sure <laughs> that you, you, don't, they do, you don't see any difference in them uh, because they're actually just afraid of being vulnerable and be afraid of showing interest. Um, and that also doesn't accomplish setting somebody apart slightly. Um, and again, this is in, it needs to be an appropriation. It needs to be, you know, the first date, you don't need to be exclusively dating somebody. Um, it, it, re it requires the amount of interaction that gives you the, the right information to know you wanna be exclusive with somebody. But there are little bits that that starts to happen where you start talking with one guy more than the other guys. Um, I remember I went to a wedding and there was a couple girls who showed interest and I decided to dance with one more than the other and I knew what I was doing. I knew it was maybe gonna hurt the other girl a little bit or is at least showing that I wasn't as interested in her and showing that I was more interested in this person simply by setting them apart a little bit. I just danced a little bit more with her and I knew exactly what that was gonna translate. And it did. And um, so that's, that's what I'm talking about, is just, is their ability to, to show interest and at the, ex, at the exclusion of other options in subtle ways. Um, that, will, that will let us know as men, if you're a woman trying to um, pick up on these subtle cues, if you have that to give, that will let us know something. Okay, um, another side note. Uh, it's attractive when women have healthy boundaries. And aren't going to just do whatever you want. Do they just want to please you or, or even physical or sexual boundaries? They're just ready to give you uh, almost, well, whatever, whatever anything beyond what's, what's healthy. And uh, that's not attractive to healthy men, to men who, who live with healthy boundaries. Uh, so, and here's the thing, you be, as a woman, you keeping healthy boundaries, it means that you are going to repel men with unhealthy boundaries, because you aren't gonna give what they're actually looking for. And, that's oh, that's a time when it's okay to not be pursued and to let that die. And it makes space and it starts to attract men who do have healthy boundaries. Um, so it's attractive, keep healthy boundaries. So, and sometimes that may feel like uh, you're not giving a man what he wants. And there's some times when that's a great thing. Do not give a man what he wants and see how well he handles that. And, um, and that, can, that actually attracts a man that's worth attracting. Okay, and lastly, all this comes under the umbrella of being okay with yourself. That's so attractive. When uh, what a man is looking for is comf comfortability. A person who's comfortable with themselves, who loves themselves, who is nice to people around them, who has clear boundaries, but, but all those are, are learning, a person learning to be okay with who they are and where they're at. And uh, you want a man to pursue you, learn to be comfortable with yourself. And that will do more for you than anything. That includes all these things. Uh, is a person who's, who's comfortable with themselves. 
So to recap, um, men are looking to pursue as an answer to themselves. Women are looking to attract with their beauty as an answer to themselves of the questions they're asking. Am I beautiful enough? Am I, am I attractive enough? Learn to find that in yourself. Find ways that you are beautiful. You know, femininity is beautiful to males. It's just the way it is. So you already have something that's beautiful. Learn to embrace your unique version of it. And, uh, and learn to be able to let that be seen. Um, uh, for instance, women who, who don't care to uh, dress up a little bit or take any effort to look to enhance their beauty and show it off and um, to put it on display, uh, that's not as attractive to men. We enjoy women who are comfortable with their beauty. And again, it doesn't have to look like, like a certain type of maybe Hollywood style beauty or model or magazine style beauty. It is people who are comfortable and embrace themselves and embrace their beauty and, and can put that on display, who, love the, who are comfortable with themselves. That is attractive. Um, so uh, next thing, allow there to allow effect to be seen. The, the amount that you're, you're kind of interested, let it be, be able to be seen. Uh, be able to look, give looks at men. Be able to smile back. Uh, be able to continue a conversation. And all those things are going to be speaking to a man. Um, stay around. I'm interested. And it's, it's this openness thing. It's a, I'm open to you and you can stay open and you don't let fear or insecurity or uh, offense cause you to close it down. And it, it, that will help attract and let a man who's pursuing you continue to pursue you. Um, <clears throat> be able to set a man apart slightly to the degree you are involved with him, uh, which means if you're flirting a whole lot with everybody, it's not gonna send that signal. If you're so afraid, you're not gonna show them any amount of interest or any difference. They're not gonna send that signal. And it's not gonna help a man be able to pursue you or want to pursue you. I think there's an openness to pursue you. Um, have healthy boundaries. Let the men who don't have healthy boundaries fall away and lose interest. Let them just go. And leave room open for the men who will value your boundaries, your healthy boundaries. Uh, and lastly, just continue to learn to be comfortable with yourself and uh, that will lead you well. So I hope this helped you guys out. Um, if you have any questions about it, write us in. If you have any other questions, different questions, please write us in. Um, and we'd love to hear from you. So yeah, all right, talk to you guys soon.